Hey guys, welcome back to part 6 of our SAP Fiori tutorial series. In this video, we will connect our Fiori app to an external data service using the North Win O data service, retrieving data and displaying it dynamically in our UEFI application. First, let's configure the North Wind O data service as a new data service. For that, click on the three dots and select the service center. Here we need to add a system by clicking on add system. This will open a new tab where you can add your North Wind services link. I will type the system name as North Wind 2. Then we need to change the ABAP service catalog to service URL. And here we will paste our URL. You can get the URL by searching North Wind version 3. I will use version 3. Uh, not 2. I will use version 3 here and click on the first link and here you will get the link for the Northwind data services copy the entire link and paste it here give some description here i will add all data to and click on add then we need to click on add to sap fiery project then it will be automatically added to your manifest.json file. Then go to your XML part. Here I am using the second page that is listview.view.xml uh, file. I am going to replace this text with our O data. For replacing that, we are going to use a list here. Then we will take the product data by declaring the table as product. Here inside curly braces, you should declare slash product that is here products. This one will be pasted here. I mean, we will type here slash products, then we will take the product names. Here, title should be something product name. You can find it from here. So, here we are taking product name. We just need to copy and paste it here. Yep, here. Fix these errors by generating ID for them. Then go to our terminal and type npm start to see our output. Go to the network section and check whether the metadata is coming or not. Here you can see the metadata is coming. That is North 20 connection is established successfully and our data is coming to this page. Let's go to the next page and see our output. Here the list is showing no data. The issue is because North 20 data is coming to the default model. But the model is already being used by us for passing the data from first page to second page. So there we need to adjust a little bit in the model section. So let's go to the controller and change a little bit in the models. What we are doing here is we are creating another model and passing the data to the new model. That is our custom data will be passed to the new model. And we are using the new model everywhere. Here you can select the both of the lines by clicking on Ctrl D and typing the new model name. After changing everything, we will go and check the output again. And the data is loading. Here you can see the product names. That is Northwind data is displaying here. So Northwind data is working successfully. But we need to add little more changes to see the uh, data which was transferred from the first page to the second page. That is we need to declare our custom model name here. That is username should be from the second model. That is O model, O user model. Copy and paste the O model, O user model here and you should add a greater than symbol. 
oh user model then greater than should a symbol should be here and go and check the output Meta data is loaded successfully and our raw data is loading but still something is mis missing so let's go and check what is missing there in the second function we forgot to declare the o user model we can do by using variable variable o user model and let's go and refresh our page to see the output metadata loaded successfully and our north wind data and along with the second model data is working let's go and try checking again put some random data and click on login and it is showing here and north wind data is working successfully in today's video we learned how to integrate an external data service use o data models and dynamically bind and display data in our fieri app if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more sap tutorials thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one